Hey y'all, what's up? This your girl Tisha B and I'm back with day number five, okay? All right, yesterday's um, scripture and word was faith and it came out of Psalms 23 verse 4. Well, today's word is confidence and it comes out of the same book, just a different verse. So this scripture will be Psalms 23 verse 1, okay? And it's talking about confidence, all right? So, it reads, <clears throat> The Lord is my shepherd, and I shall not want. Okay? The Lord is my shepherd, and I shall not want. That scripture basically gives you the confidence to let anybody know, hey, listen, if I want it, I'm going to get it. With God by my side, what they say, I'm always saying what they say, y'all. But I go, my life is full of phrases and and um and uh you know sayings or whatever. I'm old school, but anyway, um you know um if I want it, I shall get it. If God is with me, who can be against me? That is the saying. If God is with me, who can be against me? That verse says, verse 1 of Psalms 23 says, The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. Now, I don't know how many of you go to church, but a lot of people have that same faith in their pastors. They feel like, you know, if they need anything, they can go to their pastor, whether it's prayer, whether it's help with a bill, whether it's food, whether it's just, you know, that good little pick me up, they can go to their pastor. And according to biblical terms, a pastor is a shepherd. You know what I mean? His congregation is his flock, is his sheep. You know, he's supposed to lead you to God, right? So my shepherd is God, okay? And if the Lord is my shepherd, my bad, not if, the Lord is my shepherd, I should not want. And I keep repeating that, y'all, because I want y'all to understand the confidence in that. The confidence of walking around knowing that um, if it's meant for me, God gonna make sure I got it. As his child, he gonna make sure that I'm all right. You feel what I'm saying? So, um, you know, you should have the confidence just knowing that God has your back. He has your back, and with him, it's nothing nothing is impossible nothing is impossible you know so um i always say it's gonna be short today then it end up being like six seven minutes but it really is gonna be short today y'all i just wanted y'all to take that with you today you know if you feeling um you know like <clears throat> you can't get something a job a house um you know um children you know that's a big infertility is a big thing these days you know what i mean anything that you feel you know um like um i don't know you know i'm nervous i might not just remember psalms 23 verse 1 the lord is your shepherd you shall not want meaning if it's meant for you you're gonna get that thing what god has for you is for you. I feel like you can't block your best blessings, but you can delay them. You know what I mean? By having certain people around you that aren't supposed to be around you. By being in certain environments that you are not supposed to be in. By just listening to certain things and involving yourself in certain things. I feel like sometimes we can delay our blessing because sometimes that place is not meant for us to be. Sometimes those people are not meant to be. And I say that a lot because a lot of people need to understand sometimes just because they're your day one or just because it's your mama or your daddy or your sister or your brother or your friend or your teacher or whoever sometimes these people are in your life for a season biological or not they're in your life for a season okay and sometimes these people are not meant to walk the walk that you're walking you know what I mean you ever find yourself um getting excited about something or finna venture off into something new and then you have those naysayers like uh huh huh you know, because that huh, huh mean a lot of stuff, okay? Those people are not meant for you. Because who is ever meant for you, they're going to encourage you. They're going to tell you positive things. They're going to be rooting for you. They're going to be your number one fan to whatever you want to do in life. So, take this with you. Confidence. Always walk with your head, with your head held high. Always. Because if God is against you, I'm sorry, y'all. If God is for you, who can be against you? Nobody. 
okay? Confidence in knowing that. All right. Um, every other day I do a prayer. I see that now. So can we all touch and agree? All right. Lord, thank you for everything. Thank you for allowing us to see that you are God and God alone. Lord, I ask that you touch the heart of those who are just confused, who don't know nothing about nothing. Lord, just touch their hearts to see the truth. You know what I mean, Lord? Give them the signs and wonders or everything else that you do, Lord, to show them who is for them and who is against them, Lord. Lord, I ask that you help us all to love each other. I help, I, Lord, I ask that you help us all to just get it right with you. Thank you, Lord, for always just having a field of protection around us, Lord. Thank you for always covering us under your blood. Lord, I ask that you continue to just guide us, Lord. Hold our hand. Teach us right from wrong, Lord, spiritually and just all around, Lord. Continue to love us even in spite of. Thank you, Lord, for everything. Let the words in my mouth, meditation in my heart be acceptable in thy sight, O oh Lord. My strength and my redeemer in Jesus' mighty name. Amen, amen, and amen. All right, y'all. Oh, every time I open my eyes, this light be so bright. But anyway, I love you guys. See you tomorrow, Lord's will. And remember, my God is awesome. Okay, bye.